What's up guys and welcome back to Tech Plant. Today I'm going to give you a little state of the union, kind of where we're at with the Tech Plant channel. It's been a really busy summer so I haven't produced a ton of content so I'm just kind of giving you, a, a, I guess, a mini tour and just showing you kind of what's been going on. Some interesting stuff. Hopefully you like it. Let's check it out. All right, so as you can see, everything is in shambles. Well, not actually total shambles, but it is quite a mess. I do have plants pretty much everywhere. Just to get in the plant room, you got to walk through basically a jungle. It's pretty dirty. I probably should do another one of those like um, grow room like cleaning videos because it is a mess. But I just want to give you guys a little, uh, I guess, update on just the grow room and what's all happening in here. There is quite a bit of cool stuff. I've slowly gotten a little more organized with things. Um, I think this weekend I'll probably get some time to actually do something. This has been such a busy summer, so I haven't really like had a good chance to do anything. I don't know if you know much about um, growing up in Wisconsin, but there's only three months out of the year to really do anything, so everything happens in the summertime. So yeah, I'll give you a little update on this little corner. I know I featured this in Instagram a lot. This is probably like one of my favorite corners in the entire grow room just because a lot of these plants have been here for probably almost two years now since I kind of set all this up. And there's a lot going on in this corner. I mean, there's like philodendrons. we got some silver sword cuttings that are growing here. There's a little like Macaulay's folly uh, or folly. I forget what it's called. Just a philodendron. We've got micans. There's Hoyas in here. I want to say it's like a Jose Bueno. Just it's not warm, so it's not variegated looking. We got lots of tetrasperma, which I always love. That's probably one of my top. 10 favorite plants just because it really spreads and here's a good kind of instance of that I mean it's getting everywhere it's pretty chaotic don't really know how I'm going to take care of this but I guess I'll figure it out eventually maybe take some cuttings and start it up again because you can see this growth down here is quite a bit more um, yellow I don't know if you can actually see that but but yeah overall it still looks great I do have some monstera back here it's starting to get pretty big um, they're definitely a foot long at least so we're seeing some cool progress in here most of the shelf is philodendrons here, and this is kind of to the left of that one girl corner. I've been trying to organize things, but um, something they don't tell you about houseplants is they just keep growing, so they're getting bigger. It's actually been a lot of fun seeing things really hit like big sizes, and they're really starting to take over the grow room. I know it's kind of a pain, but it can be pretty awesome too. I mean, even this uh, Billyetti eye is like starting to really show some size here. This is one of my favorite philodendrons. Here we got a brand new leaf coming in. It's pretty cool. Yeah, this is mostly philodendrons. Uh, there might be a few other weird oddballs in here. I'm not really sure, but you can really see that everything's starting to hit pretty awesome sizes. So that's pretty exciting. Here we got pretty much the anthurium shelf. I've been trying to organize everything by species to some extent. Um, here's my Thai constellation. I know we got some monsters here, but I just need some room. This shelf is a little bigger. This one is a pretty nice one. I think we're going to get some nice coloring on this next leaf here you can see a lot of white there so we'll see maybe it'll be a similar patch to weird i got like a dropped frame there so that was a kind of a weird abrupt thing but anyways yeah the tycon's doing pretty good hopefully we get some other neat leaves i do have a really cool tycon update that i'll show you in a few minutes here um here's that mint monstera there's been some videos about this one as well roots are doing pretty good this is probably the most expensive plant in my entire collection here this one is on loan to me though it's not technically mine um, there is a dedicated video about it, but here you can see that there's some good roots coming out. Look at that little nub. See that nub? That right there is the future of this plant. So hopefully it's nice and variegated, but I'll probably pop this one up pretty soon and maybe make a video about it. But yeah, Mint Monster is doing pretty good. Since I'm kind of squatting down to get pretty low here, it's actually a pretty neat view of all the anthuriums. I don't know if you can see that, but there are flowers literally everywhere. But yeah, I mean, there's a lot of flowers. I lost a few just because I wasn't paying complete attention. And check this out. We've got helpers down here. This is a fly. He's going to help cross-pollinate stuff. So that's pretty cool. I had a lot of fruit flies down here doing that. So I don't know. Look at our nice helper here. Kind of cool. Wish I had, like, creatures in here that could eat him. But yeah, there's just a lot of flowers. Some are producing pollen. Some are getting to the female phase. Things are doing pretty good. But... In general, my Anthurium collection is doing pretty nice. I don't know if you can really tell from like the outer um, stance here, but like, look at this. Uh, it sucks because it's facing away from us, but that is one beautiful luxuriance. I mean, these leaves are actually getting big. I've never had big leaves like this before in my life. The collection is like really hitting some nice maturity levels. Like this is at least 14 inches long. This smaller one here is like a foot. Um, these are insane here, but... 
yeah, I don't know. Everything just seems to be doing pretty good. My, I'll probably do a dedicated video about this, but I got a few that have come back to life because I've just waited. This is like a Luxurians Radicans hybrid right here. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff. Uh, I did lose this because I didn't water. It sucked. There was berries in there, but we'll see if they made it. I got a lot of new leaves here. Whoops. I don't know. I'm really loving the anthurium section here. This one is really chlor uh, caloric. I think because it's flowering so much, there's flowers everywhere that it's kind of running out of energy. I really need to heavily fertilize it, but it looks kind of cool. I do have most of my little like seedlings and stuff up here. A lot of graciles. I think we got some magnificum here as well. Um, I want to say these are Wildenauii here. Uh, I can't even pronounce this name, nor am I going to try. I've got some random assorted bird nest style ones over here too. So the seedlings are doing pretty good. Um, another one that I've always loved is my favorite like special hybrid right here, which you can't see well, but there it is. Uh, the disease doesn't seem to be spreading that I thought it had. I'm going to get them tested officially and I got more information on that, but they're doing pretty darn good. So that's pretty sweet. I'll show you some better ones. Oh, this is kind of cool. So I've had this like dubia forever, right? This is Monstera dubia. And I've just let it like grow up into like a dumb little ball. So it's kind of, you can see how many leaves there really are and it's just growing around in circles. I finally taped it on my aquarium stand and you can see already like it's really making a big difference here. So hopefully these will get massive. We'll see. We don't have that much length to go, but hopefully it does. It'll be pretty cool if they start to get big. This is called neglected corner. This is where all the neglected plants go. feel a little bad, but they've been here for like two years. This monster has been in this darkness forever. You can really see how it's suffering, but I'll get her up and going pretty soon here. But the ones that made it closer to the light are actually doing all right. Not so bad. But anyways, a lot of neglected stuff over here I got to get to hopefully this weekend. Got a cool Cebu Blue that's getting pretty big. I mean, you can't really tell. Here, let's see if I can get closer here. Get that in focus. It's pretty big though. I mean, these are nice sizable leaves. So it's kind of growing up a pole here. It's kind of weird. I know you got, oh, look at this. Wow, I haven't seen this in a while. Look at the colors on this one. This is a Syngonium. Oh my God. Or, oh my gosh, this one is like almost completely white. That's pretty cool. That looks like a growth tip too. Um, this is the big old pathos. So it's getting bigger and bigger. I tried repotting it in a bucket, as you can see here. But the problem is I got kind of knocked off the pole. And so now, let me get around to a better view. That's not a fenest fenestration right there. That is just a rip. Rest in peace, rip. But anyways... Um, it's not growing up this pole anymore, so now that it doesn't feel secure, their leaves have gotten a little smaller, but it hasn't been the worst. You can still see it's an absolute beast, and I'll make probably a dedicated update to this one, but I definitely need to get it, like, sticking again, because you can see it's really suffering. It's loose, so it knows it's supporting its own weight. As soon as it feels that and it's not rooting onto something, it immediately starts to get smaller, so that kind of sucks. I got some, I got a bunch of giant monstera nodes. I can't really show you how they're doing because they're not doing and they're like in these bins here. I, I really struggled with them. I know people are gonna, probably going to be pissed because I kind of wasted the opportunity. But when I first got them, I literally went on like a two-week vacation right after. So that's why you saw that one with all that rot. I mean, I was literally out of state for two weeks. So there's nothing I can do. This thing is still holding on. I'm trying to root this one in sphagnum moss. But um, it's just not a good, not very good. So whatever i mean what can you do but yeah it's kind of doing its thing i do have one giant node like in this bin here and that one's actually rooting down there so that's cool and then in here i got something cool for you we'll, we'll talk about in just a second here but yeah this is mostly just like the experiment area i guess you could call it and we'll get kind of closer in there i don't really talk about my succulents very often but i mean they're all doing pretty good nothing like crazy to write home about um, I don't know if you saw the video with the plant that survived COVID, but it is really plumping up now. This uh, aquarium gravel is amazing for succulent style stuff. It is working so well. I've had zero problems with this, and it's really getting healthy again, so I'm excited about that. This plant here I haven't really talked about, but this is actually a pineapple. So I chopped the top of a pineapple and rooted it. I've been growing this thing for, oh my gosh, it's probably been almost an entire year at this point. I don't want to make a video yet until I actually get a pineapple because I have like a lot of like how to grow different fruit tree videos, but obviously none of them long enough to see something fruit. So I'm trying to give this one all the time it needs until it fruits, but it's taking its sweet time. But hopefully eventually it does because it loves mealybugs and this is like really sharp. It, it pokes me all the time. 
I don't talk about this plant a lot, but this is like my most favorite plant in the world. And I, I have mentioned it in the past, but um, there was a few short stories about this one. But this is actually like a one-of-a-kind hybrid. Well, I shouldn't say one-of-a-kind because I have a bunch of them. But um, the mother plant is supposed to have flowers like that grow right at the base. And this one is growing up higher. So that means this plant hybridized. And it is like probably the most beautiful hybrid plant I've ever had. So I love it so much. Hopefully I can get it to seed and we can spread the love. We'll see. But yeah, there's another smaller one back here flowering. And I showed you earlier those like diseased ones. Those are also the same thing. So it's pretty darn awesome. But I love it because it's really got like long pendant leaves. Like look at that. But yet they're like nice and taunt and they're just really cool. Here's just an update on those palms from seed. I don't know if you guys are watching that at all. They are still trucking along. I've let them get a little dry and they did get annihilated by mealybugs. At, or not mealybugs. Um, spider mites at one point. But they're doing good. They're all getting a second leaf now. So they're really starting to get palm tree like. And even another ones down here like started to sprout that weren't in the original video. The more cycad looking guys haven't done much back there, but this cycad uh, produced a brand new leaf, so that's looking pretty good too. All right, this is the most exciting like update that I will have a dedicated video for, but this is like my old wedding card box, but I kept it because it works perfect for like a terrarium. But I don't know if you can see what's in there. These are all like tissue culture tie cons. So I have eight of them in here, so I deflasked eight. And stuck them in here. We're going to see if I can get them all to survive. It has been over a week now and they're growing bigger roots and they're doing pretty good. So I haven't seen any die off, which is really exciting. Because if that's the case, then we might have a really good um, method to replicate this. The other really exciting thing about this one is, sorry, I'm like out of breath. But I sent the other two because I got a pack of 10. I, I shipped them and I'll make a whole video on like how to import these plants if you really want to. But I took two of them to a lab to be tested. So we'll actually see if they have pythium or not. So it should be pretty exciting. All right, so here they are again. Now I took the lid off, so we'll get some, like, I kind of want to get some dirty air in there to really introduce them to some more, like, nasty stuff. But, yeah, like I said, so far, so good. I don't know if you can actually make out the roots in here. I will have a dedicated video to this, but they've all managed to produce, like, one big root so far. No, no die-offs. I know you're not supposed to count your chickens until they hatch, but so far we're looking pretty good. I'm not sure when most people experience the, the instant die-off, but they're, I mean, they're all doing all right. So hopefully we get an 8 out of 8 success and we get our test results back from the lab and it should be absolutely awesome. So I'm really excited for the results regardless of what they are. Um, it'll be really cool to see. I mean, if they have Pythium, then let's try and TC it out. If not, then that's cool too. So this should be pretty sweet results, but we won't have that for like another two weeks. Well, guys, that pretty much sums up this little update. It was a little long, a little rambly, but at least it was something. I'm really struggling to get stuff out these days again. It's been so busy this summer. It's crazy. Summers in Wisconsin are always like that, but... Anyways, summer's ending pretty soon, so content should be produced a little more normal, I guess, at normal paces. I got some cool stuff coming up. I think you saw a little bit of some samples of some interesting things, so hopefully you're looking forward to a lot of it. And if you want to see anything, uh, anything particular or special, just let me know, and I'll try and make a video about it. As always, guys, may your plants go strong and healthy. I'll see you next time.